Hi everybody. Today we're going to be looking at Victor Nunes, who is a contemporary artist that creates found art sketches. So first thing we need to cover is found object. What does that even mean? So the actual definition of found object is found objects are art that is made from non-disguised objects that are not normally considered art objects. What do we mean by that? A lot of people look at found art objects and think that it's made up of trash. Uh-oh, stinky. Which it very well might be. In Victor Nunes's work, he has used found objects such as bottle tabs, potato chips, scissors, keys, even things like hairpins, and creates little drawings around or using those objects to create a larger image, which takes the context of the object, maybe it's a bottle cap, and it turns it into something different, like a fish, for example. Today, you are going to be creating your own found object art drawing, and you are going to need some kind of paper, maybe it's a notebook, doesn't matter if it's white or lined or colored, you're gonna need a pen, or a pencil, something to draw with, and you're going to need found objects, something from around your house. And this could be anything if you get creative with it. For my example, I found these teeny tiny little flowers that I took off of a, uh, a wreath that I was getting rid of. So I'm gonna try to create something out of these little flowers. I don't know, let's see what happens. Um, I really want you to get creative with these. You're going to be creating at least six different variations of your found art drawing. You can use the same found object, but you're creating six different drawing versions of it. I'll show you my example now. So once I've collected my found objects, I'm gonna play with them on the page just to see how I can move them around, flip them around, try different angles to see if that inspires different things. The first thing I'm thinking is, using the found object as a hairpin. Okay, there's one. Let's try for two. Now instead of incorporating it on human, let's see, maybe I can create something more out of this world. And have a little galaxy. Okay, now I'm going to get back into people things, but I want to change the scale of it, the size relative to the rest. So instead of being as big as a person's head, a tutu. You're going to continue going on and on using your found objects, all six of them, turn in all of your artworks, to the Google Classroom assignment for credit. Again, I have three examples here of how I got started. You're going to be turning in at least six different versions. I look forward to seeing what you create.